Hey guys, JJ here. Been a while. Uh, a bit of a catch up. Uh, me and Cooper. Hey, hi, Cooper. Hi, uh. We're out for a wander at Mount, at Mount local mountain. Uh, there's a bit of a car park, etc. They built on the side of the mountain, which is I've never used before, never been this route, so it's new for me too. Fair dues, they've done quite a tidy job. Lovely dogs. Uh, only holds about six, seven cars, but we're going to give it a try. So, on our journey today, hopefully you'll catch up with us, start with it, and be safe. Hey guys, I was saying about this car park. It's a European and Wales investment for your future. Yeah. Lambrin is a community woodland. As, you, as they always like, plenty of signage. And lovely Brooklyn littered with rubbish all down there. What's that? It looks like someone got a bit too excited with a dinghy. I don't know if I can get this to come through, guys. There's a waterfall. Yeah. That's on the way back. I might try and get down there a little bit more. There's plenty more in the other one. Just have a better view of that because it looks quite nice from there. So, follow us, guys. Ah, uh, see? Quite a nice one. Yeah. Enjoy the woodland, leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but photos, kill nothing but time. Riding motorcycles, possession of guns or crossbows, overnight camping and lighting of open fires are prohibited. Horse riding is for members only and restricted to designated tracks. Mountain bikes are restricted to main tracks only. I wonder how many people actually follow that. Anyway. Been wet. Been wet the last couple of days, so we'll yeah. see what we can up to. So we'll have a we'll wander ourselves. Oh dear. It's struggling a bit. No, it's not putting him down, he'll run. This is the trouble with dogs. Yeah, they want to keep going, don't they? Well, no, they're babies. <laughs> oh, yeah. got a nice camera, have you? <laughs> oh, let me put you down a sec, Morg. Oh! Hey, hey! That's him saying, I'm alright, I'm alright. Yeah, I want to keep going. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> Oh, lovely in there. Beautiful. Enjoy. Can you be on Facebook later? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh. Oh.
It's a bad back then. So we seem to have a bit of a small holding on the said touch thing going on over there. Lucky thing. Oh, lovely view. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a lot of them. Oh, that's it. You know what? I like to pick bluebells. Yeah. How do you? You know what? Hey guys. As I said, this is a day out in this our normal mountain we walk quite often. But I've never actually been to this part of it and go across the remainders of these ruins. They are doing the English more universal than the Welsh. I've been Welsh myself, I'm not speaking it. I don't think it's so you're very welcome to pause at any time if you want to read. Whilst I do this myself, so later on I can take a little bit of time to do research into these things. As, as I've said in my video about OS maps, you don't know what's around the corner sometimes. We once upon a time slag heaps. Now luscious, green, and growing lovely. Walk over this way because this is this stream we've been following up, and it sounds like quite fast flowing. So we'll take a wander across here and catch up with you again. Hey guys, as I said, we've got, made our way down to the stream. You can actually really see uh, where the the old slag heaps used to be from the colliery, and how they've been taken back by nature. It's a wonderful thing, Mother Nature, and mankind ain't gonna stop her. Said about. Hey guys, JJ here. Right, as I said, we were going to come down to the water, which used to feed the water we on the colliery, on my, what I can see of the images I just show, would have hopefully shown you. Um, this is the waterway. They made a nice bridge out of some concrete. Water flows between the roots. Coming up. So there's some quite beautiful scenery. I know I'm echoing on again, but again, I didn't know this was here. This is purely by chance that we've come up here today. And it was the fact that we were going somewhere else. And we just changed the plan as we were coming up, up the road. 
the road forks and I, I see the sign for the new car park and I thought I'd try it. Right, I'm going to try doing this one again, falling in myself here again, one sec. You see that, that water carries right on up, to running off the top of the mountain. Absolutely beautiful. Icy, icy cold at the moment. Um, due to we've had a few weeks of dry weather, it's nice to actually see, but I'm not sure it's the council or the fire department or whoever has been up. There's a number of for, uh, well, grass fires, etc., in South Wales at the moment, have been quite high. They uh, put some signage up. Uh, as we been walking around, being old colliery slash mine, you'll see there's certain things my son has pointed out. What's them? Uh. There's mine tracks by there because it used to be a mine. Yeah. Yeah. What have you found, Cooper? Um, mine tracks because it used to be a mine here. Yeah. Right, say that a bit louder. It used there used to be a mine here because I found um, mine tracks. There you go. There you go. I'm being educated by a six-year-old. <laughs> right, guys. As I said, get out, get out, join the day, and time to time I'm going to bring you back when we're going up to the top of the mountain. Have some grub. Where we are going is clear and it's nowhere near any woods or anything and we are going to have a food cooked using the gas burner, no open fires and precautions taken in case. But this time of year, land's drying out, admittedly we say that in the last two days we had a lot of rain but you know, we've had so many grass fires and costing the government a silly amount of money, to be honest, to try and control them. If you are out there, be careful. If it, you, for some reason, do start a fire and can't control it, don't run away. Make sure you inform the right authorities so they can tackle it sooner rather than later. As much as they'd probably be annoyed that you've started the fire, They'd rather you tell them than, than find out five hours down the line when it's uncontrollable. So, we're going to carry on now guys, and hopefully you used to get some more footage. Thanks. So you just made this thing that broke now. What are you doing? Yeah, there are. Can we go and have a look? We'll have a wander around. Oh yeah, there's a park over there. Get it. Oh, just, 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 just. There's a park over there. Daddy, you know me. Yeah. You can eat them. I don't know what they are. The form of the fern, they're edible. The wind. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Lead the way. Careful. Use your pole. Mm -hmm. 
through the hole. You lead me where you, you want to go, boss. Yep. So, what do you think this was? What? what do you think this was? Stream. Good call. Has had water flowing through it at some point. See, guys, it's not about reading books and trying to teach kids different things. We're out and about, and he's teaching me. Is not, show me his knowledge. There's evident water away here at some point. You should see down here. Flows round the corner. Down. And we'd been there bed of the river stream. And that's why I'm proud my, my lad, Six, is able to identify that already. Well, it is about passing the knowledge on. I was not blessed with the knowledge being passed on to me about this type of stuff. I've had to pick it up as I've gone along. I'm hoping to give my two boys the heads up before that they have the information when they start, really. We've got a nice birch here with some bark flaking. So I'm going to grab some now. Sorry about all the funny angles today. My, I actually brought my camera stand. I've got a spare, I just haven't had a chance to swap it over. Um, if you watch my videos previously, uh, you'll find that I have quite a pet hate of littering in the woods. Or any place of beauty, or any littering really. Um, one of the things that we do when we come out with family walking is we bring a bag and on our, on our return journey back to the car, we collect any cans, glass, anything that's not biodegradable and today's no different we found quite a few cans and we're going to sort them out that's it. Hi guys, just on our uh, walk today while I was out I thought we'd do a little product review um, in South Wales, you know, how many stores have got around the country you've got a store called What? Um, it is everything in there basically. Some of it is complete and out of junk, other stuff is pretty good. Like yeah. most bargain shops, you've got to have a look around see so pick up your bargains. Picked up this more as a time over for a day. 
comes a little sheath, not the greatest little thing on the back, but it's held up for about a year now. It's a cutlery kit. Comes apart, kind of like a Swiss Army type or pen knife type style. Comes apart, fold out fork, fold out spoon, got your yeah, corkscrew, the other side, the side tight. Openers and the, on the spoon side, you come with a small yeah. dagger, I call them, dagger some wine, and a knife. Uh, so, there's a stainless steel. The knife from both was pretty vicious, to be honest. It is. I wouldn't even try sharpening that. It is. I, could, I, I have tried it a lot this moment. Paper, no problem with that. Nice gentle strokes, slices through paper, no problem. Which is quite scary from a shop which any, any, anyone could go and buy. Um, yeah, brilliant bit of kit. I've had it about a year now, as I said. And um, it's got all your little tools. I've had a knife and fork, which is really why I bought it for, because it was out and I didn't have nothing with me at the time. Uh, brilliant bit of kit. Fits together. A little fiddle to put back together, but interlocks quite tight. I don't know if you see that, guys. Quite tight fit. Into the pouch. I think I paid $1.99. Big spend of me, you see. One ninety nine. Can't go wrong. Um, yeah, that's from what. Gone in and bought other stuff. Compasses. North is south. South is north. Not great to serve equipment for that. I will give them. Oh. Sorry about that. My son is trying to become David Bailey, I think. And then that is a cracking bit of kit. So. That's it. Is produced some char cloth, an old tin, old bandana, which I don't know more anymore. Is in my garage for ages. Got a nice wedge of char cloth. Um, there's loads of videos out there. I'll probably do on myself at some point. Because it is that simple as doing tin can. Make a small incision on the side. Fill that with a uh, cotton material. In this case was a bandana. <sighs> Seal it up, check on a fire. I actually done mine on my little gas burner today to let it burn out for five minutes or so. I opened it up, it did, I had to put it back on for another two minutes or so, just quite deep. But it's a nice tin of char cloth now, you take the spark quite nicely. The That's that. Um, we've had a, the gourmet meal today of our, everyone's favourite noodles. <laughs> our cheapy noodles, and today's flavour was. All these chicken noodles, and I must admit, they were quite nice. So you've got yourself in the Fifteen percent of your daily allowance are calories. Eleven grams of fat. Nine point four grams of saturated fat. 0.9 of sugar and 0.70 of salt. On a normal day, I'd say totally unhealthy. Um, just a uh, quick snack for today. Can't go wrong. Uh, so enjoy them, I enjoy them, and keep easy to cook. Um, the other review was with the winter. I, a few years ago, got caught in the snow and got stuck in the car, so it suffered a bit. So just want to pick up a small sh folding shovel and to be honest, went to an army surplus that we use quite a lot and uh, everything they had in there looked like it had been hammered and battered. Um, just wanted something a bit quick so I went to a little shop and bought an Amtec one and I thought a handle, if I'm going to be using it in the snow 
handle was all metal. Freeze my hands. Even with his gloves on, it was cold, to be honest. So I just put some paracord down there. Um, there's normal fold and shovel, but you get what you pay for in some cases. And I think this was four pound odd. And nicest way of putting it, it's good for hitting someone over the head. That's about it. As you'll see the angle on it, it doesn't, it's bent out of shape already. I've actually had to replace the bolt here. So does that come out? It was like um, a rivet type thing in there, and I had to replace that the first week. And I, all I literally did was take in the garden and try digging through a planter, which is compost and nothing hard. And that came out. I replaced it with a nut and bolt. That's held up tidy now with a nylon nut on it. But it's bent out of shape. Digging soft soil. I was literally taking the bit of turf off to do a fire on the camp, so not the greatest bit of kit. Okay for light work, but anything else, pouch one bad. But the, the shovel itself was poor quality, to be honest. So that's about it for today from us. We've managed to get some char cloth. We've got some bit, a little bag of birch bark that we've collected on our wanders. A nice little. Bag of birch bark to dry, make sure it's all dry out now, ready. Um, myself and Cooper will be attending the 300 prepper meet in July. Um, I haven't got tickets yet, but we will be coming. And I forward to meeting many. And hopefully see a few, guys, a few of you guys there. So, if you do see us, I'll go and say hello. Um, me and Cooper. We'll be there hmm. under our tarp enjoying ourselves, won't we, mate? Yes. And hopefully, get some good grub in us. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, as I said, my big thing is passing knowledge on to my boys and enjoying time with them. It's amazing how much time you spend. Today, it's voting day, so Cooper's school shut. So, we've been out, what, two and a half, three hours? Yes. Done a couple of miles. Passing a bit of knowledge on about different things, and he's been yeah, I see lots of dogs about. Um, but, but every time, just a little bit more information. Today we've done a bit on pine trees and about the yep. sap. Yeah. How we can be used for medical needs and also fire lighting, etc. So yes, yeah, it's just a good day out with the kids. It doesn't have to be intense. Well, if he picks up one thing every time, that's brilliant. If he doesn't, we'll pick him up next time. So, get the kids out there, pass the knowledge on, and enjoy it yourselves. But if you're not enjoying it, you won't want to be out there. That's JJ out. Be safe, guys. That's fine. Cool. <coughs> I took a few listening for to all day. I feel the water is the juice that was in that bottle. Dad, I know the juice that was in the bottle. I tipped down into the other little water bowl. I don't know. Well, I'm holding it down there. Probably. Oh, you hit me. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's
Ну, Put his gloves on on his one-man mission to clear up every forest in Britain. We're heading back this way, guys, because on our way through, we come over this mound. Just the other side is party of the year for the Cider Glider Club. It's infuriating that this beautiful place, it's luscious green, I'm all good, yeah everyone come up have a drink, have a relax, but we've got ourselves a juice bottle there, kiddies tar juice bottle, and then we're down to the Cider Glider Club. We got Strombo Original. And to come across, we we have the more modern class. Oh, thought that's original as well. There's some of the black current ones. Oh, forest. What's it? Dark fruits. It's just totally unnecessary. So we're gonna cut off here, guys, and pack all these, bag them up, take them home, and check them in the recycling. They know that, I don't know why they can do it, but hey, that's, that's what some people are like. I teach, I teach both of my children, leave no trace, and at six and three they already know what the saying means. Alright, thanks guys.